this. I mean, to have your name associated with this, and I, I don't know what that's like for a 17, 18 year old guy. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, you know, it's kind of un unbelievable to think about, like, coming to, as I was a kid, like, you know, you come to camps all the time, and you don't really think about that when you're a kid, is like little kids coming to your camp when you get a little older. Uh, so it's really cool, and it's kind of hard to hard to take it all in because like everybody here came to your camp, and it's, they're all saying breathe and everything. So it's 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 really cool uh, to be a part of and to see them all having fun and enjoying being here. How cool is it that NIL has kind of allowed you to do these sorts of things and, and kind of start building your own brand here in the state? Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it's a it's a neat opportunity for sure, and to be able to do it the right way, I think, is big. Like being able to do it with a hundred kids and give back to the kids that all look up to you and just be able to spend time with them and have fun with them and make them laugh and they make you laugh so uh it's really fun being around them and just having a good time with them how has this week been for you obviously it was a, a high profile game your first time on espn just how did how was that experience yeah it was an unbelievable experience uh no matter, I think, no matter how the turnout of the game would have went, it would have been awesome because playing on ESPN as an 18-year-old doesn't in Las Vegas doesn't happen a lot. So being able to do that was unbelievable. And then, of course, uh, we won, so that made it a lot better. And uh, so it was an unbelievable experience, and I'm really thankful that I had that opportunity. It was like going against your future teammate, Rob. Oh, that was cool. That was the first time I've ever played against him. Uh, and that was, and before the game, you know, the coaches were all were texting both of us, just talking to us about it. And then after the game, uh, you know, we uh, hugged and talked to each other, and so that was that was really cool. And, but during the game, there was no no talking during the game. It was all all business and trying to win. But it was really cool being able to play against them. At the end of that game, you talked about you kind of embraced Rob and either Bronny too. Got to talk with them. Just what was that experience like in general? Just knowing that those guys you know, kind of respect your game and they're on the national stage too with you. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. We've all grown up kind of playing against each, against each other since about like eighth grade. Uh, or not playing against each other so much, but like being around each other and just knowing who each other are and that type of stuff. So being able to finally play against them on the stage that it was on and then being able to like have fun with them after after the fact was was all really cool and it's a, it's like moments like that that you'll never forget like you're 18 year old kid like playing on ESPN like I said in Las Vegas against the top players in the nation and being able to talk to them like they're just normal people after a game so it's it's really cool. What, what part of your game has improved you think if you could go back over the last few months what do you think it is? Uh, I would say I picked up my defense a lot just making sure I can stay in between the man and the ball. Uh, man in the goal, I'm sorry, and just stay in front of my man and just everything else really just playing smart and taking good shots and just being the best player that I can be and do whatever it takes to help my team win. Uh, what were your thoughts on uh, getting uh, getting adjusted to the class um, this past week and um, just any thoughts about this game? Um, have you all ever played against each other before? I've never played against him, but you know, Justin's a great player and we uh, I got to watch him play a little bit at the top 100 camp. And uh, I got to hang out with him, so it was it was really neat being around him and talking to him and trying to convince him to come to Kentucky while we were there uh, at that camp. So I kind of had an idea before that he was going to come to Kentucky, but that was just. But I mean, it's really cool knowing now that like I have two other teammates, and hopefully, hopefully, can get some more with Harry and DJ and uh, Ron to come in. Hopefully, but uh, you know, all of it's just really fun, and uh, it's all experience that you'll never forget. What are you talking to those three, Aaron, DJ, and Rob? What's kind of your pitch been? And then Rob even brought up the idea of bringing all of them in with you to make like a dream class of sorts. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Kentucky, right? I mean, it's Coach Cal, and they look at who, the players that they brought in and where they where they are now. Like, they're all in the NBA doing really good. If they're not in the NBA, they're overseas and making a good name for themselves. And that's kind of what I'm telling them is just like, look at what Coach Cal can do with you after Kentucky. Like, he gets you better no matter how long you stay. He gets you better, improves your game, and, and he knows so many people that he can get you about wherever you want to go, whether it's basketball or whether it's not basketball. He's still going to have a good word for you, and he knows so many people. It's just that's kind of my pitch. It's just he's going to get you where you need to go. Um, going back, you mentioned uh, going to these camps uh, growing up. Was there ever one that stuck out to you the most? Uh, maybe going to like a former Cats player. Like, did, did anyone have like, an interaction that you're now having with these kids that like sticks out to you? 
Uh, so my dad used to do these camps, and he would bring in the players with him. And one that like that I liked going the most was uh, it was Jared Polson. So he he was always really good, and he would like stay at the house with us and uh, while he was doing his camps and, and that stuff. And then uh, Josh Harrelson Harrelson also would come to the house and stay the night at the house, and he was always fun to hang around, and he was always picking on me and all that. So those two were really fun to be around. Do sure. you keep up with any of them at all? Sir? Uh, not really. Uh, they they kind of keep in touch through dad. So uh, we saw uh, Josh tweeted something on Twitter the other day, and Jared. I saw him at Big Blue Madness, so it was cool being able to reunite with him. Do you think you proved anything in your trip to Vegas? Did you kind of go in with the mindset of maybe you know, something like Ronnie and Rob were kind of the headliners, and then there was you, but you kind of outplayed everyone there? Do you think you? came away proving yourself at that stage? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I just proved that like I, can, I belong and I can play uh, play at that stage and that level. But at the end of the day, you know, it was just, it was a fun experience and I was, my teammates, I mean, we played a heck of a game, you know, I think we hit 11 threes or something in the first half. Uh, and being able to play with my teammates and my friends was my last AAU game. So, uh, being in that uh, experience was awesome. So. I was very thankful for that. And you all clearly had the chemistry advantage. Obviously, they were kind of thrown together overnight. Did you go into that game knowing that you, know, you all could pretty much beat them by 20 the whole game? Or what was your mindset going into it? No, I mean, we didn't. We knew we could hang with them. Like, we knew they weren't going to come in and beat us because everybody kind of thought they were. It was a super team that they just thrown together. But, um, you know, going into it, we were like, all right, guys, we can, we're all good enough. We can play with them. And it's our last AAU game. We're not going to go down without a fight. And then once we got going, it was just kind of everything started clicking. And I think we kind of got tired of hearing about all the all the hype around their team. And we were like, all right, so now nobody thinks we can win, kind of the underdogs. So we just were coming out, and we fought harder and just got the win. How was that ESPN interview? Were you nervous at all doing that halftime one? Uh, I was. I didn't really realize that it was going to be, like, on ESPN like that. I didn't realize <laughs> that until after, and people saw some pictures and stuff. So... Uh, but no, it was really cool, and that's uh, like I said, being 18 and being able to do that's unbelievable. Um, you've been shooting uh, commercials, right? So you have some experience, like you know, like getting in front of the camera and, and doing some of that. Uh, how has uh, that been like for you? Just like I saw some of those reels on your Instagram. Like, what? Like, those are pretty great videos. Yeah, White Grand Magnet has been great to me about uh, doing all the commercials and the campaigns for their company, and and those have been fun too. You know, I'm I'm a kid that like likes to joke around and have fun and. And that's what I've been able to do in all those videos is joke around and just be myself. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you could have like any input about like what their like jokes are, or, like how they're formatted. I'm just curious. Uh, I can tell them. They they asked me for my opinion, but uh, most of it was kind of their stuff. But but it was all really funny. I thought it was really funny. How much do you have to learn of business acumen at age 18 when most of us still don't even know what that what we're doing with business? Yeah, it's it's a lot. Um, you know, I kind of. I'm lucky enough and uh, thankful to have my family around me, and then we have some people that are helping my mom and dad out and take care of it all. Just like, cause like, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I'm like you guys. I'm 18, and I don't, I don't know too much about it. But having them help me out through all this has been a blessing. Was there anything that the coaches uh, said to you um, after those games on Tuesday? Just like, kind of like, like, uh, that, like, I stuck out to you. Any uh, those texts stick out? Uh, they were just saying they were like proud of me and how hard I fought and they loved what they saw and they like they couldn't wait to coach me and that that part right there that they couldn't wait to coach me kind of kind of stuck out just for like for me like ready to get get to Kentucky and uh, and just learn learn from what they have to tell me and just keep taking my game to the next level.